In the latest pod news... I happen to be a 46-year-old happily married proud dad of a 9-year-old with a great career at Parkinson's. I shake, yet I can't shake this. So what do you do when life gives you Parkinson's? You tell your story while you still can. 10 million people have been diagnosed with it, but few people know much about it. When Life Gives You Parkinson's launches tomorrow, co-hosted by Larry Gifford, a 30-year broadcast veteran who was diagnosed in August 2017. It's with Curious Cast, Parkinson Canada and Omni Studio. PodSquad is a new app designed to help small independent podcasters build their audiences more efficiently on social media. They're hoping to gather feedback from as many podcasters as possible, and you can sign up to be part of the beta on their website. Podcast Addict is now adding support this podcast links. The author announces at the start the app is looking for Patreon, Tippy, and Anchor links rather than the Rel equals payment standard, but who knows what the future might be. At the end of the IAB podcast upfront last week was a chat with Bob Pittman, who is CEO and chairman of iHeartMedia, and Yal Moan, who's CEO of National Public Radio. We link to it in print form. Here's a question from the moderator How do you ensure that podcasts do don't cannibalize terrestrial live radio. Your guests are an opportunity for your podcast's growth, say Radio Public in a two-part series. And in a survey, Adobe Analytics claims that 48% of U.S. consumers will have a smart speaker by the end of the year. Apparently, 32% of U.S. consumers have one now. The link in the TechCrunch article to the full research is no longer working, if you'd like to dig a little deeper into those surprising numbers. Oh, and the US military have developed a microphone and earpiece that clamps to your teeth. You'll find more details on that at podnews.net.